you will thank yourself if you have a well-packed diaper bag not only for traveling, but just every day as well. In this video, I'm going to share exactly what's in my diaper bag. We're about to go on our first international flight with our six month old twins. So this diaper bag is not only coming on the plane with us, but it's also going to be with us throughout our travels. So I'm gonna share exactly what we have in there and some tips and tricks for you as well. so much for clicking on this video and if you're new here hi my name's Elle I'm a mum to twins Revy and Rue and it is so important with two babies to make sure that I have everything that I need at a moment's notice especially traveling with twins my husband and I it's really important that we are well prepared because when things happen it happens quickly and it is great to be able to have everything we need ready to go Behind me is our travel stroller. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave it linked here. It is exactly how I have prepared our stroller because we're going to Disney while we're away. And we're also going to be walking around so there'll be days when we will be out and about maybe all day, I'm not sure. And I just wanted to make sure that our stroller was ready to go to make our days as easy as possible. On our stroller, I have our diaper bag. Our diaper bag is hanging underneath our pram caddy. The pram caddy is just a handy place where you can pop your drink, your coffee, your water bottle. And then in here you can hold your phone, your wallet, all that kind of stuff, a camera, whatever. But then down here is our diaper bag. I have our diaper bag hanging below so that I can have both. It is attached to a carabiner hook. Here she is. I will leave this diaper bag linked. I got it online. It is a Colette by Colette Heyman bag. Really, really inexpensive. And I liked it because it was a backpack and there was space in this bag for four bottles. Having twins, Honestly, I could go through so many bottles in a day, but having four in a diaper bag is a really good place to start. The bag itself is not the most comfy backpack because the straps are not padded, but even still, having a backpack is crucial because if I'm wearing a backpack, my hands are free. We have the option, of course, of attaching it to our stroller, but otherwise, one of us can wear this backpack. The other reason why I really liked this particular diaper bag backpack for this trip is sometimes you have to buy specialized pram straps to be able to attach your diaper bag to your pram. And this one has the option of attaching to the handlebars just with these clips. And that makes it really, really easy to attach. And I didn't have to worry about carting around an additional accessory that honestly, I might lose. The other feature in a diaper bag that's really important to me is having a wide open top which makes it easy to rummage around and find everything that I need. So let's go through this diaper bag and I will show you exactly what we have prepared. On the sides, I have bottles. There are two insulated pockets on the side of this bag and there are two insulated pockets inside the bag. So you've got outside and inside as options to store bottles. Along with the bottles, I also have these. I swear by these so much. We were kindly sent these by Little Moo or Lil Moo. It is a little company and they're doing amazing things. It is a bottle warmer. That's right. This here is the attachment that goes with the bottles that we have. We're using for the trip the Dr. Brown's wide neck bottles. The reason why I like to travel with these is that they are BPA free plastic, which makes them lighter than traveling with a glass bottle. And the twins don't have any issues with them with reflux or colic, that kind of thing. And that's because of this nozzle. It sort of slows the milk, I think. Anyway, they work is what I'm trying to say. So the way in which the bottle warmer works is you either have your breast milk in here or water and you attach the bottle attachment like so. You just pop it on to your bottle warmer. You turn it on. This is completely rechargeable, by the way. You hold it down and you pick your temperature. You have a couple of options, 35 degrees, and then it just goes. It just heats up your water, your milk, and then once it's to temperature, it turns off. Oh my gosh, it is such a game changer. We found that the best way to use them was to do it with formula. So having water in our bottles 
and then using the bottle warmer just to warm the water. And then once the water was added and up to temperature, we would then add in our formula. And this is also in our diaper bag. It's a formula canister. This one has three and we have the right amount of formula in here. You just open it up, tip it into your bottle and then mix it with the water that's already warm. And that's it, you've got a bottle ready to go. We have a bottle warmer for each of the twins, so we've got two on hand. I just make sure that they're always charged and ready to go, but they are perfect for traveling. You can use them literally anywhere. They are amazing. And if you are breastfeeding and you wanna reheat breast milk, they're very, very easy to clean. You just literally wipe the element down with a paper cloth, um, a damp cloth, and that's it, they're ready to go. The next thing I make sure that we have in our diaper bag is a spare bib for each twin. This one's a kind of a fun bib because our twins are teething, so at the bottom it's got a little teething thing for them to chew on, but bibs, honestly, save outfits. It's so, so crucial that my twins are wearing bibs when they're feeding because it just keeps outfits nice and clean for longer at least. There's more of an option. And that way I don't have to be doing as much washing on the go when I'm traveling. If you are purchasing a diaper bag, it should come with its own travel mat. If you don't have a changing mat included and you're just using an old bag that you really like, then you can buy these separately. I really like this changing mat because it's really long and our twins are growing and it just fits in nicely at the top. What I also have is a puppy pee pad. These we got for our dog, Charlie. So we have a bunch left over and they have been so, so good. I have used them while the twins were newborns, which saved their bassinets, their cribs, their baby lounges, putting these underneath meant that if there was a blowout, I didn't have to clean it up. I just had to throw this away, which was amazing. But I like to have one of these to put on top of the changing mat, just because if the twins are really, really messy, it's super easy just to chuck this away. You can buy disposable changing mats, but so long as you're buying a puppy pee pad that doesn't have any fragrances or anything added to it, it's basically just the same thing and these are so much cheaper. I make sure that we have extra burp cloths. I swear by these. These are sold as diapers, reusable diapers, but they actually make the perfect burp cloth. It's pretty big, but trust me, you will not regret having a bigger burp cloth if you're burping a baby over your shoulder. The little cute burp cloths just don't contain enough, I don't think, enough space. Or if you're burping a baby on your lap, again, so, so much space. They're just great to have on hand for any thrills and spills. I keep changes of clothes for each baby and because I have two babies and they wear different size clothes, I label them. So this has the baby's name and then it's a spare outfit for them. In here I keep a little singlet and then another onesie and this way I just have an extra outfit for them. These outfits I have picked for the plane, so the onesie I have are enclosed toes so that I don't have anything to worry about in terms of socks, that kind of thing. When I'm picking a onesie for travel, and having the diaper bag is really handy, is it's great to have a onesie that has two zips, a two-way zip onesie. So there's a zip at the top if you wanted to change the baby and get the baby out of the onesie completely, or if you just wanted to change the baby's nappy or diaper, then you can just use the zip on the bottom, pop the baby's feet out, but the baby's arms are still contained. Honestly, it is so much faster. Don't bother with the middle clasp onesies. Trust me, don't bother. When you are changing a baby on a plane, in an airport, and you're running out of time because your plane is boarding, go with the onesie that has the two zips. It will save you so much time, so much heartbreak. You'll thank me for that later. If I do have to change the baby and take off any dirty clothes, it's so good to have a wet bag. I have a wet bag for each baby. These were kindly sent to me from Bear and Moo. I will leave Bear and Moo linked in the description box below. I'll leave everything that I'm featuring in this video in the description box below with links so you can find it really, really easy. But I do have a code with Bear and Moo where you can save 10%. My code is my name, all in capitals, 
L. You can use that on any purchase to save 10%. And these are so cute. They come in lots of different styles and I love them. What's awesome about this wet bag is you've got a big pocket here and then you have another pocket that's in here. So you can always keep your change of clothes with your wet bag, have your clean clothes and your dirty clothes all in one if you like. This way, you know that you just need to get the clothes out of here, pop them in the wash, and you don't have to worry about them getting on anything. I always have wipes. <laughs> I'm not messing around when it comes to wipes. I am taking a big pack of wipes. I would rather have too many than too few. So I have just packed a brand new pack of wipes. The reason why I picked these wipes is that they are really, really minimal ingredients. There's no fragrance. My babies have really sensitive skin. And what I love about it is there's an enclosed top so the wipes stay fresh. I find that if it's just the plastic poly top, then they dry out really, really fast. So look for a wipe that has a resealable lid. Love these. Also packed way too many diapers or nappies. I have so many nappies in here, but I would again rather have too many than too few. Also in our carry-on, I have literally packed an entire pack of nappies in our carry-on. So I have extras that I can use. Our favorite nappies are the Noopy nappies. These are the best nappies in my opinion. They are so luxe. They're also really sustainably made. I love them. They are really easy for the twins to put on. They have contained so many blowouts and they are super, super, super good for sensitive skin. Cannot recommend them enough. Our diaper bag has this front pocket, which is really handy. In here, I have some wet wipes, which are antibacterial wipes. Really good to have on hand for wiping hands and also wiping surfaces. And the last thing that I have in here are scented nappy bags. <laughs> Honestly, these are such a game changer and such a lifesaver for putting your dirty diaper into your scented nappy bag, especially if like our twins at six months, things are changing is all I'm going to say. Smells are changing, <laughs> becoming more intense. And so having that to contain it, <sighs> I can't live without it. That's everything that's in our diaper bag. I try to keep it really simple, really straightforward. The other diaper bag I have is hanging on the pram here. This is our grab and go diaper bag. It is a wet bag from Kmart. It's the perfect size. And I like that it also has this strap which attaches directly to our pram and it can just hang there. These straps that I talked about in our pram organization video are so handy because you don't have to be worrying about unclipping anything. You just grab it and off you go. In here, I have everything we need for a quick change. So this means that instead of having to grab the diaper bag every time, all I need to do is get the baby, get the grab and go bag and off to go to the bathroom to change the baby. In here, I have another changing mat. This changing mat came with my e.l.f. diaper bag and that diaper bag I showed on my pack with me, my hospital bag. I have a code for e.l.f diaper bags too, which I will leave down here. Honestly, e.l.f. diaper bags are chef's kiss. They are so, so good. I have a tote from them that I love, which also could be a backpack. But for this trip, I thought that having just the backpack would be perfect. Anyway, this is the changing mat that came with that diaper bag. And I love that it folds down so teeny tiny. It is amazing. So good. I also have in here another puppy pee pad to put over the changing mat because convenience. Our favorite nappies, the Noopy nappies. And I've also got wipes. <laughs> These wipes are just a small wipes and they fit in this resealable case, which you can buy. They're really, really great if you just have a small wipes, but just make sure that you always have wipes in here, that you've got a stash that you can replenish this with. The other things that I always make sure I have in our diaper bag are nappy rash cream. This is just a small one. I always have a little small tub with us and I keep one in our grab and go and also in our diaper bag. And I also make sure that we have hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is your very best friend when you are changing a baby. Definitely keep a supply in your nappy bag and also in your grab and go bag too. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. The support means the world to me. And if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I'm so excited to be sharing more of our travels with Revy and Rue very soon. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.